Hey everybody, welcome to uh, this week's uh, Project Zomboid. Gonna see how Karen's doing. See if we can find that sledgehammer. And then we'll see who shows up from a Twitch stream. See what we can find in this warehouse. Ooh, wood glue. I've got tons of electric wire. Side bag. Might want to take this full sandbag with me. Ooh, gravel bag. Seen any sledgehammers? I actually think I need that. I should just gather all the things that I think I might need and move them to a different part of the uh, warehouse. Put them in this box. And then I can take it with me once I'm gone. That's a good plan. Hey, cool. It's definitely on the list. Never have too many axes. Where do I have a fork?
Wasn't there a screwdriver up here? I might as well take apart. Yeah. I might as well take apart anything I find since it's just gonna give me free experience. I should just carry a screwdriver around always. Then I oh a shovel. I like shovels. Yep. From now on, I'm gonna carry a screwdriver around with me. Um, 35th build, I think this is, this is just the latest whatever uh, official build is, 34.28. No, I'm not, I'm not doing the I will back up my save ones because, um, I found that that screwed up my, uh, my, uh, stream a couple times when I was trying to do it, it would, because it just ended up you know, not doing anything. If I'm going to be doing a a long-term one, I'm not going to be using the I will back up my save versions. Uh, I could probably do those for a short one every once in a while, though, just to show new stuff. Right now, I'm trying to find a sledgehammer. And anything else that might be useful. Okay, come on, Sledgehammer, where are you? Hey, Grig. One thirty today, that's not that early. I think that's the time I've doing it the last couple of weeks. Not bad. Haven't found a sledgehammer yet, but Barbed wire.
cool. We'll head over there once I'm done here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be in here. Yeah, that is pretty fast. I wonder why that is. So much easier to search these places with if you have a sledgehammer, because then you can just smash all of the crates, and then all the stuff just falls on the ground. Alright, cool. We'll check those out as soon as I'm done here. Alright, Grieg, lead on. Where are we going? Actually, I should grab my wood glue. Just in case my axe gets damaged. So, cross the road. Oh, wait, let's... zombie. There we go. Crossing the road and going through the forest straight, like in this direction up here. Ooh, vitamins. I 
straight this way. Alrighty. I'm getting chased. Alright, now where are we going? Left or right? Oh, probably this way. I should probably, you know, check this place before I start looting. Yeah, there's lots of boxes in here. There's boxes in there. Can't actually get in there without a sledgehammer. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. All right, let's check this one. There's logs, go figure. Lots of shotgun shells. always good cuz it's the best glue you can get for fixing things fertilizer a eh? barbed wire neat
not seen any, sh any uh, sledgehammers so far. Yeah, I know. I just thought it might be cool to put up some barbed fences around my base. Potatoes. The thing about sledgehammers is they're probably in these boxes back here that I can't get to without, you know, a sledgehammer. I mean, like, I can pick up boxes a little bit if I had a hammer. Maybe I should be having, maybe I should have a hammer. Like, I got lots of shotgun shells. Whatever. Karen's been lucky enough. amount of times she should have died and didn't. Hey, these are all really good things. She's grabbing those shotguns, but she's probably not going to use them. Not when she's all loaded up with stuff. Wait until she gets back to the other warehouse after checking this next place. Whenever you go to sleep, make sure it's someplace safe. Moving chairs around is great.
pick up the crate and just drop it on the ground. And then walk over it. It's like magic. I think I just put a crate inside another crate, actually. Sometimes physics doesn't matter to these types of games. Although I hear that they're working on making physics uh, better so that like you can't build unrealistically supported buildings and they'll fall down and stuff. Lots of shotgun shells now. Assuming I, you know, make it back to my house. And I can't take off a crate that's on top of another crate, if I recall. Mining something that'll just get you killed. I mean, like, in modern day mines, people die. If it was just a mine you were making yourself, you'd probably just end up super dead. I mean, like, I guess you could probably... Uh, mine, as long as it was like a strip mine. Yeah, mines aren't dangerous these days. Try making an underground mine when you're a person with no, like, actual tools to do so. I know that one thing they don't want to do is turn this game into, like, Minecraft. They want to try and make it more realistic than punching trees and stuff. Alright, where's the next, uh... Warehouse.
Is it in the same, like, parking lot place? Like, possibly right over here. Oh, these are just shipping containers that I probably can't get into without actually having a sledgehammer. Fun fact, see how I have an axe? If I hit the one button again, it unequips it. That was one of the suggestions that I made to the game. Yeah, if you have a weapon equipped, you can unequip it by hitting the same equip button. There's a lot of stuff in that garbage. I wonder how much stuff is in this garbage. Seems unrealistic. I doubt there's going to be anything useful in these lockers. Oh, I mean, like, you could throw out a bunch of stuff. It's possible. waste a perfectly good swing of the axe when I can curb stomp this bitch to death. Oh sweet, some leaks. I think she's not overweight anymore. Yeah, 79. Still feeble though. How how strong does she have to be before she's not feeble? Five? Probably five. Five's probably the normal, right? That is a lot of strength. I'd like to make a call. 
Help me, I'm trapped in a zombie apocalypse. I can't find a sledgehammer. crates in here. Oh, here's some. More than some. Alright, crate. Get out of here. Too heavy for inventory. Oh, I'm pretty full up. Sledgehammer. Why are you gonna be that way? Karen would love to have a, sh sh a sledgehammer airlifted to her. Ah, eh, she can take. She'd be fine. Sledgehammer. It's all she really needs. I mean, what more do you really need when you're trapped in a zombie apocalypse? Doesn't make for a very good weapon, though, just for the record. I mean, you can, but it's pretty awful. I'm actually out of inventory space for things like shotguns. Place nails in box. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. What, you're saying that they're not very useful in this apocalypse? Alright, Grieg, where to next? Is there anything left in this place before I head back to the north warehouse to drop off all of the stuff that I might want to take back to home? Like, up into the north more? Or down? Conquer. Conquer. Oh, hey Ryan, how's it going? Your name is Conquer? Really? Ooh, wood glue. All I really want. 
want is a sledgehammer so that I can smash everything. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. But now I have too much stuff in my inventory. How much does this thing weigh? Like 106. Man, I don't want to get any rid of any of this stuff. Uh, don't need that. It's these shotgun shells that are taking up all my weight, eh? I'm making a path of shotgun shells. That was actually really fun. Oh, that might work. I think that. somehow actually have more room while picking oh it's because holding a sledgehammer makes it way way less than if it was not being held okay does smashing boxes use up my sledgehammer's durability Shotgun shells in boxes definitely makes them take up less room. That's true, I'm just curious if it does or not. Doesn't look like it so far. As cool as all this is, I really don't need anything besides what I have now. So I'm going to head back to the old big old warehouse. back here before heading back to my house see if there's anything out actually useful that I want yeah it's about time you know Karen's wandering around carrying like 40 weight worth of stuff she should definitely be getting stronger had like six new people follow me on Twitch today. I think it's because the Indie Stone, Indie Stone retweeted that I was streaming today. Which, thanks guys, by the way. Mash, you're great. I knew it was you. I 
here. Take some pills, Karen. You'll feel better. Have I ever had a chat with them? Yeah. I think I interviewed Mash once time one time for my website. That was a long time ago. I wonder if I could find that. Back when my website was still updating. I should probably work on it. Oh, I think this is where I came out of the woods. Maybe. No, there was two zombies from where I came out of the woods. I think. I haven't actually met any of them in person, but I've uh, I've talked to them several times. Run, Karen! You're getting chased by zombies. Lots of zombies in the woods. It's terrifying. Luckily, they move slower than you do, right? Right? Hopefully. Zombies in the dark while you're tired. Yeah, this is gonna turn out great. Where's your food? Eat some food. Yeah, but it's just three. Four. I'll be able to handle this. Made it back to the North Warehouse. I still have my, yeah, awesome, toilet seat. Okay. That is a really good question. I imagine that, it's a good thing I went and slept in that toilet room. I imagine it'll take a bit of practice, but I should be okay. Depends on how complicated it is.
I imagine they're not going to change the, the system too much. But we'll see. Right now it is pretty easy to kill a bunch of zombies, but... Oh man! I like one hitting most of these zombies. My warehouse isn't super safe right now. Why is it taking forever to unpack this hammer? It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, 
Um, I'm not sure. I was mostly just looking for the sledgehammer, but I gotta get back. I'm running low on foodstuffs. Plus, I have more stuff than I can even carry in one trip right now, so... I don't know if that's really the best idea. You think they're better than the crates that I have back at my place? Well, it's whatever. She can make her. She can make better crates. She, she's. It's been a while since she even tried. I need some nails. No, nope, I don't know where she's. I need some nails. Sledgehammer is not what you want.
Oh, neat. You can barricade both sides of a window now. Smashing time. Look, I can't even smash the ceiling things. Screw you, air vents. Doesn't look like using it to smash things with the actual smash button uses up its endurance, which is good. But I think if I was attacking these things instead of just smashing them, it might. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not getting any, like, materials for smashing all these things. There should be, like, bits of wood and stuff on the ground instead of... Like, when you break a crate by picking... by trying to pick it up, that happens, but not when you smash it with the... with the, uh, sledgehammer. I seem to recall uh, that uh, Romaine saying stuff about it changing. But anyways, I've been playing for over an hour now, so I'm going to end the stream for now. And I will talk to you guys next week, where I will probably finish smashing a bunch of stuff and then return to my base. Alright, thanks for watching everybody.